patrons. It's Larissa, the adult services librarian at the Galena Public Library, and I thought it would be kind of fun if I started doing some book reviews, and I'm hoping to rope in some other staff members to do some book reviews as well. Today I wanted to review this book, Gods of Jade and Shadow, by Silvia Moreno-Garcia, which was a lot of fun. Um, her newer book, Mexican Gothic, just recently got a lot more press than this one did, so you might have heard of that one and not this one, but this was the book before that one. It's kind of a historical fantasy. It's about a young girl named Cassiopeia Tun who lives in the Yucatan in Mexico in the 1920s, and she is a little bit of a Cinderella-esque character, but she wouldn't like it if I said that about her. She. She's kind of the um, down on her luck relative. Her father passes away, so her mother is forced to move back to their small town where her, her grandfather is the patriarch. So he's very important in this small town, but not really anywhere else. But Cassiopeia and her mother are forced to clean the house and take care of this aging man. While her cousin, Martin, you know, is given preferential treatment because he's a boy and he's the heir to the estate. So, Cassiopeia has big dreams. She wants to see and do everything. She wants to have all the experiences. She wants to travel. She wants to go to the city. She wants to dance. She wants to get a bob haircut. And she's miserable. So one day, when she's left behind because, of, because she talked back to Martin, her whole family goes on a picnic. In and a single moment of defiance, she decides to open this chest that's been in her grandfather's room. And he always wears the key around his neck, but that day he left it. She opens the chest and out pops a skeleton that reanimates itself into the Mayan god of death. And he takes her on an epic adventure through 1920s Mexico because he needs to overthrow his brother who had put him in the chest in the first place to reclaim his throne. And it is a little bit of some romantic tension. The writing style that Silvia Moreno Garcia has is beautiful and so descriptive. You can see everything perfectly as you're going on a trip through Mexico. And I learned so much about Mexican history and mythology. So beautiful, beautiful language as she describes her settings and her characters, almost like she's painting. You can see all the colors and and the motion. It's, it's a really spectacular book. It moves pretty fast. It's not really suspenseful, but it definitely has a forward momentum that really propels you through the storyline. And the characters, I thought, were all spectacular. As you get to know them throughout the book. And look at this beautiful cover. This beautiful Art Deco cover with the Mayan influences. I just love it. So that's my recommendation of the month. And I'd love to hear down in the comments below what you've been reading and what you've been thinking of it. Give me a recommendation. I'd love that. So, you know, and if this was fun for you to watch, if you enjoyed me rambling on about a book at all, just please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you so much and have a good day.